is the rate of photosynthesis equal throughout the year? Well, no. The environmental factors change with seasons and so the rate of photosynthesis also changes. The different factors affecting photosynthesis are chlorophyll, which is a green pigment present in the walls of chloroplast, light, carbon dioxide, water and temperature. Out of these five factors, these four are environmental factors. So they change with seasons and so they affect the rate of photosynthesis. But even this factor, which is chlorophyll, even this reduces and increases with the different seasons. How? Well, there are some plants and trees which shed off leaves during particular seasons. Now, if leaves are shed, then automatically the amount of chlorophyll will be less and so the rate of photosynthesis will be affected. Larger the leaf, more will be the photosynthesis, but if a leaf is small, then there will be less photosynthesis. Now, what does that mean? Well, larger the leaf, more will be the amount of chlorophyll that will absorb more amount of light energy. But a smaller leaf will have less amount of chlorophyll, so it will absorb lesser light energy. See the arrangement of leaves? Leaves are oriented at right angles to the light source. By doing this, the maximum surface area of leaves are exposed to sunlight. Now, with increase in light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis also increases, but up to an optimum level, after which the rate of photosynthesis does not increase. Now, why is that? This is because in the atmosphere, the percentage of carbon dioxide is 0.03%. So, even if you give more light intensity to the plant, this becomes a limiting factor. But if you increase the percentage of carbon dioxide from 0.03% to 0.05% and along with it increase the light intensity, the rate of photosynthesis will also increase. Now increase in the light intensity or an increased concentration of carbon dioxide is not enough to increase the rate of photosynthesis. Refer to this equation of photosynthesis. See, the reactants are carbon dioxide and water. So water along with carbon dioxide, an optimum level of light energy is required for the synthesis of food by photosynthesis. So with all these factors, that is 0.05% of carbon dioxide and with that increasing light intensity and along with these two factors, water will increase the rate of photosynthesis. So water is an essential requirement as well for photosynthesis and that is why leaves have an extensive vein system. These veins carry water and distribute it to all the cells of the leaves. Now just like you feel very uncomfortable in biting cold or extreme summers but feel comfortable in normal nice temperature, similarly the rate of photosynthesis increases with temperature but up to an optimum level after which it starts decreasing.
Now this optimum temperature at which the rate of photosynthesis is maximum is 35 degree centigrade after which it starts decreasing. Now till 35 degree centigrade per 10 degree increase in temperature doubles the rate of photosynthesis. So these are the various factors which alter the rate of photosynthesis. Out of these, light, carbon dioxide, water and temperature are environmental factors which change during the various seasons. And also chlorophyll, we have discussed this, it, the amount of chlorophyll present in a plant also changes seasonally, thus affecting the rate of photosynthesis.